Hey, how's it going? Just going to show you how to play 27 by Title Fight today. Uh, just before we jump into it, I'll let you know if you'd like to support me, there's a few ways you can do it. You can hit the thanks button below, buy me a coffee, which is linked below, or you can sign up to Patreon, and that's a place to go to get all my tabs for this song and everything else I've made tutorials for. Um, you can also follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and check out a Spotify playlist that I've put together, and that's got all the songs I've made tutorials for in it, so you can have a li listen through that and see if you want to learn anything. Uh, also, if you could like and subscribe, that'd be great. Anyway, now that's out of the way, let's jump into the lesson. Alright, so for this tune, just in standard tuning, using a pick, and in terms of the form, got a few parts to learn. So, we've got verse 1, chorus 1, verse 2, and then a lead line that comes over um, verse 2 and a few other spots. We've got a short break, chorus 2, um, a second line, uh, second lead line, sorry, and that happens over the bridge, which we'll also learn. Um, so I'll go through section by section, give you an example of each part, and then I'll teach it to you. Alright, so we'll start with verse 1, and right at the top of the track, sounds like this. So just this repeated around. Alright, so we're pretty much staying in the one spot the whole time. So, um, first chord we learn here, we're going to use this a lot throughout the song. Um, so it's kind of like a C major 7 over G. So what we've got, we're flattening our first finger over the bottom two strings in the third fret. Then we've got, I find it easiest to put my pinky down, fifth fret on the fourth string. And then third fret with your third finger, sorry, fourth fret on the third string. So you get. And then we're going to have the top two strings open. So this is our first chord, and we go. So it's kind of strumming the. Um, doing two strokes on like the bottom section of the chord, so the bottom couple of strings, and then hitting the top few strings there. So you do that three times, and then we go to this, which is open fifth string, and keep your third and fourth finger where they were before, so fifth fret on the fourth string and fourth fret on the third string, and now we've got third fret on the second string that we're just going to be putting on and pulling off to open. So you just do that. Um, then we repeat that first chord. And this is why I use my third and fourth finger for that chord, because now we're stretching out uh, after the repeat of that first chord. We're stretching out and doing open sixth string and second fret on the fifth string. While, and then plucking those two notes that we were holding down already. So you do two strums on the uh, open E and second fret on the fifth, and then do third string, fourth string that we're still holding down. So basically your third and fourth fingers don't move for this whole first section. Um, but yeah, that's it, and then just repeat it around. That's verse one. Um, all right, then we've got chorus one, and chorus one, pretty similar to the verse. Um, same chords, just sort of different, sort of rhythmic phrasing, um, and it sounds like this. Alright, so actually exactly the same chords. Um, so we just start off with that first C major 7 over G. So you're just going da do da do doing that twice. Then we go to that second chord again. Um, exactly the same as the first bit. Do that sort of open fifth string. And then do the three pull off to open. Um, then go back to chord one. Exactly the same. Then we go to that sort of E that we do. Um, so open sixth string and then 
the second fret on the fifth string. And exactly the same thing there. Then repeat the first, first little bit. And then the last time, instead of doing like two chunks of two, instead of going, we just sort of play through and we go. And then let that last chord hang there. So that last bit, just the same, same two chords. Um, yeah, and that is the first chorus. All right, next part to learn is verse two, and verse two sounds like this. So, start off, got the exact same first chord that we've been using already. So, again, just to repeat it, we've got third fret on the bottom two strings, fifth fret on the fourth string, and then fourth fret on the third string, top two strings open. Um, so, we're just going. So just doing sort of two strums or hits on the bottom couple of strings and then doing the whole chord. Do that three times just like that. And then we just move up and basically keep the same chord shape and just take out third finger off. So now we're just holding down seventh fret on the bottom two strings and ninth fret on the fourth string. You can switch over to your, your ring finger if you prefer. Uh, but you can just keep your pinky down so you don't have to move your fingers around. Um, and then we're playing the top three strings open. Um, and same sort of uh, strumming for that. Sort of do two on the bottom couple of strings and then the whole chord there. So the first half of verse two. Then the second half, um, exactly the same for the uh, first three sort of chunks. Um, and then we just go to the last chord in like that we've learned before, so that E minor. So open sixth string, second fret on the fifth, and keeping your other two fingers where they are. Um, and again, doing two and then the whole chord. Um, yeah, do that a couple of times, and that is verse two. Right, so then there's just a short lead line that happens over the top of verse 2, and just sounds like this. Um, yeah, so I think the two guitars play unison, and then one of them just breaks off and does that towards the tail end of that section. Um, so all this is starting on 7th fret on the 5th string. Slide down to 5. Use your 2nd finger for that. Because then we've got 4th fret on the 4th string. And then 7th fret on the 3rd string, I find it easiest to use my 3rd finger for that. Slide down to 4, pull off to open. Open 4th string, and then we've got 2, slide over to 3 on the 5th string. So you get... Um, yeah, and then you sort of just chuck that in. in that sort of spot there. Um, but that's lead line number one. Next part to learn is just a short little section, what I've just called a break, and it sounds like this. Um, I think that lead line one also happens over the top of this section here. Um, but this is what sort of the rhythm guitar is doing, I guess. Um, so all it is, just moving this same shape around that we've uh, learnt before. Um, and for this section, I find it's easiest to use uh, first finger for the bottom two strings and then third finger for string number four, just because you're going to be doing a, a bend and it's just a bit, a bit easy with a bit more strength. So chord number one, just third fret on the bottom two strings, like we've done a few times already, and fifth fret on the fourth string. Do that twice. 
and then we're going to be sliding up four frets. So now we've got seven, seven on the bottom two strings, and nine on the uh, fourth string. So it's like. Duh. So you're doing two of each. And on the second one, when we slide up, we're just doing that bend. So it's just like. Sort of up, down, up, down, up, down. Um, and then we sort of repeat, do the first two chords again. But instead of doing the doing the bends, we just move down another two frets. So now I've got five, five on the bottom two strings and seventh fret on the fourth. And then back home, three, three, five. Um, and yeah, I think you just do this around a couple of times. Um, and then that yeah riff happens over the top. That one. Um, but yeah, that's that short break. Right, next part to learn is chorus number two, and sounds like this. Um, so again, pretty similar chords to what we've been playing already. Um, so we've got our favorite first chord, three, three, five on the bottom three strings. Then we've got four, sorry, four on the third string and top two open. And this time we're not like palm muting or anything. We're just strumming through it, but sort of doing the, the bottom couple of strings, then open and then the bottom one again. Just doing that. Then we're just going to move up two frets. So now we've just got five, five, seven on the bottom three strings and do that three times and then do the slide down on the fourth to sort of get back to chord number one. Um, and then we've got chord number one sort of twice. So it's like one, two, two there. Um, and then we've got this, which is just going to a G chord. So now we're holding down three, five, five on the bottom three strings, just a regular G power chord. Do that four times and then um, sort of that E minor, except now we're not playing the bottom string. It's just two on the fifth string and five on the fourth string and do that four times. So you really want to hear that those sort of notes, the bass notes of those chords um, being a bit more prominent there. Um, yeah, and that's chorus number two. Um, that's also exactly the same for the very last chorus, chorus number three, same chords there. Um, all right, so only part left to learn is the bridge and then the short lead line that happens over the top of that. So I'll teach you the rhythm part of the bridge first and it sounds like this. Um, so it's just this repeated around. And this is when sort of dynamically it drops back and the drums do that sort of thing on the toms. Um, all right, so we start off third fret on the fifth string, then open fourth, and then sort of be, keep holding those notes down because then we're going to be strumming them as a chord here. Um, so now we're holding down three on the fifth, open fourth, and fourth fret on the third string. And then we're gonna be doing this, this sort of bend on the fourth string. So it's just a little up, back, up, back, up, back. And then we do this. So we're gonna be sliding up to seventh fret on the fifth string. Open fifth, open, sorry, open fourth, open third. Then seven on the third string, pull off to open. Then open fourth string. Then you go back to the chord that we started on. But now this time we just strum it as a chord. And do the little bends there again. Then open fifth, second fret on the fourth, open third. 
Um, so the first half of the bridge. Um, and to start the second half of the bridge, you sort of want to catch that first note um, of the next when you play this chord, sort of a bit early, sort of preempt the beat. Um, so it's like. Yeah, so just do that. Um, so it starts exactly the same as the very start of the bridge. That's all the same. So that's all the same. Um, but when we get back to this chord again, we just do two of the little bends. Then we go. So that's open fifth, second fret on the fourth, and open third. And then we sort of flat now, first finger down over the second fret. Because then we go uh, second fret on the fifth, fourth, third, and then open third. And then you get back to the top of the whole bridge and repeat that. Um, but I'll just play it through again uh, to show you. And that's where the repeat happens. Um, but yeah, that's the bridge. Only other part to learn now is a short lead line that happens over the top of the bridge and sounds like this. Two, three, four. Um, all right, so it sort of happens on, starts on beat two. One, two, three, four, one. Um, it's just 5th fret on the 4th string. Do that a few times. Then we've got 5 slide over to 7 on the 5th string. So it's like 5. Do that. Then we go back to 5 on the 4th. Uh, I think it's 7 times. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. And then we go up to ninth fret on the 4th string. And you can do a little... Little sort of... Da -da 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 -da. Um, Morse code there, um, and then back to five. Um, but yeah, that's the lead line that happens over the top of the bridge, um, and the last part to learn for this track. Um, so yeah, that's the lot. Uh, thanks so much for watching and listening. Hope you enjoy playing along with that one when you get it down. Really cool tune, and yeah, learning to figure this one out um, was really great, watching back through all the, the live clips of them doing it uh, with a full band and also acoustically in a few places. So yeah, it was really cool. Um, like I said at the top of the video, you can support me in a few ways. You can hit the thanks button, uh, buy me a coffee, or sign up to Patreon like these wonderful people have done. And big thanks to those who have signed up in the last week or two. Really, really awesome of you to do that. Um, yeah, that's a place to go to get some tabs and a few other things. Um, yeah, thank you very much. And yeah, you can also follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Check out that Spotify playlist I mentioned earlier. And if you can like and subscribe, that'd be awesome. If not... Totally fine. Hope you enjoy playing along with it. Catch you in the next video. Cheers.